Here we go, daytime show. What's finished product? That's with the blades and the end caps. TIG welded on there. Uh, it's a lot of weight. Believe it or not, the uh, bearing stress is pretty good on that shaft. I can see from here, it's about a one inch clearance in the bottom and about an inch and a half on the thing. So it's it's got some tilt to it right now. Uh, that's the scary part. Hopefully this is balanced enough that it stays together. <laughs> uh, that flange bearing I put on there was a heavy duty one from Granger that I ordered online. So it's not that cheap Chinese one that the Tesla pad installed the original. So uh, of course it's a three quarter inch shaft bearing too. So this is all done. I mean, this is quite a bit of weight for the arms, the length, uh, you know, all the welding top plates. So of course now the winds are like near zero down here, calm. And they're not supposed to pick up till tonight later. So I'm going to wait till later to put the thing up. And then uh, I'll do a video by flashlight if it's spinning around at all. Let's see what kind of speeds the winds kick in. They're supposed to be 13 knots, which will be premium if that's the speed I get here near the house. Because that would be a storm wind change of uh, fronts. Uh, the average daily wind is very low. It's 7 knots. So it's, uh, you know, at, and that's at 30 feet plus. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, if it comes tearing apart, then we'll go with the, uh, I don't know, the Helix design. They have one. It's quite expensive. I don't know if I want to blow more money on these things. This was a uh, first adventure. So if this thing fails, we'll go to a second one. If that fails, we'll go to a third, and we'll call it quits after three. Otherwise, my wife will kill me. So about it for now i'll uh, hoist it up even with that added weight the hoist seems being fine so like i said it's it's well rated for well beyond what i'm going to put on here so all right that's it for now we'll see you later tonight